then this one is going to be a little bit tricky. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today, I am doing a much requested, much requested video just for you guys. I'm gonna tell you why it's just, just and only just for you guys because I love you so much in a minute. But before we start, I want to tell you, do not miss the end of this video because I have a big announcement about Next Top Upcyclers. So let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna start this project off just a little bit different because this project is a little bit different. The size of these pieces is gonna become so large that I am going to use my dress form to really help you guys to understand what I'm doing. As of the beginning of this project, when nothing's cut yet, um, I don't know if this skirt is going to look well on me or not, just because I have a straight up and down shape. <laughs> which really is no shape. <laughs> a rectangle is a shape. And this I feel like will be better for curvy girls. But since so many of you guys have requested, I'm gonna do it anyway. So as I do the lookbook, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, so I have five shirts. I went to my local thrift outlet and I got super lucky because two of the shirts are exactly the same. But I have this gray shirt from Joseph A. Banks. As you can see, not all of my shirts are actual flannel. Some of them are just regular uh, they're plaid, but they're just regular dress shirt material. I'm going to mix them and we'll see how it turns out at the end. I was more concerned about getting a cohesive palette versus them all being flannel, but you can make your choice. Then I have this one that has more orange and brown in it. This one is an IZOD. And I tried to also find the biggest shirts possible, but this one's cute. It has like the little denim cuffs. And then here's the two that are exactly the same but they're two different sizes. These are definitely very orange and brown. I was thinking more fall colors, um, something that can be worn at, in the fall through the winter because it's a maxi skirt. And then I have this one with very like red and yellow and blue, like a classic plaid. Love this one. I actually thought about ditching this project and doing something else with just this one, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you guys. But this one is going to be used mostly for the front, down the front panel. So yeah, we have all of these five shirts and all and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna pin them to the dress form to show you exactly what I'm thinking about this process we're gonna make it as simple and as quick as possible all right so with this cropped shirt if you look at the inspiration pic it does have some smaller sections on the sides and I'm going to use this shirt for the sections on the side all we're gonna do is cut the collar off and cut it up the back middle and I'm not even gonna measure because it really doesn't matter it doesn't need to be super accurate and the, also the skirt has pockets so what I'm going to do to make this easy I just push it to the inside and I'm thinking about trying to use that and then we have that pocket I would like to use this orange one as a bottom side sections again this one will be cut down the middle back so that half of it can be on this side and half can be on the other side and then for this part, what I'm gonna do in order to get the most out of it, I'm gonna cut the sleeves off and attach the two sleeves together. We're gonna lay them good side to good side and attach these two. And we're also gonna cut a curve here so that when it you know, opens up, it will be more kind of droopy down here. You could do that with pleating, you can do that with uh, gathering, and you can also do that with making a curve. Now something you may wanna consider is taking all of the collars and putting them together and making them your waistband. I think that would be kind of cool too. So we put that together. It did turn out pretty well. Just got off a little bit right there. I know that I want it to be like this as far as like the flowiness of it, you see that? And so what I'm gonna do is fold that the way I want it and then just cut it straight across. So that's what the curve looks like. We didn't even really need it that deep of a curve. I might do some like pleats in there and I'm just gonna use all of it. And then I'll take the bigger of these two shirts and do the exact same thing. I'm not gonna cut it down the middle cause we're gonna use just that whole entire piece. Now you do have to be careful because this side is gathered. So the back is gathered. You wanna make sure that this back piece right here is bigger than you. Um, I don't think this is bigger than me, but I'm just gonna do it because I really like how 
when I fold this open like this, how it fell. So we're gonna try it and see how it works. Otherwise, we'll have to do some adjusting. And then for the second shirt, we are going to cut the collar off. And we're also going to cut these sleeves off and cut it up the shoulder seam. Okay, so what that does is that allows this whole shirt to open up like this. So then we can close up these sleeves and attach this to the very, very bottom. Anywhere where you see me leaving the sleeves on, you can also do this and you can take the sleeves off and close the armholes up. Then these sleeves are left over for our waistband. Really, honestly, we just need the longest pieces possible that we can get off of here. I don't know, that's gonna be enough. We're gonna have to piece it together to make it enough. And you have to decide like how fat you want your waistband to be. I think I want my waistband about two inches, so that means I need four and a half inches of this off of here. I'm just gonna cut right along here. All right, so now I have two pieces. These are actually more like five inches across. I have two pieces. The total length, once I attach them together, will be like 40 inches. So that's not good. I need more. I need more. I'm not gonna get much more, but. All right, that gives me 14 more inches. So that ought to be good enough. So I'm going to attach all of these together good side to good side i think what i'm gonna do is just use one piece for the front because that is big enough to go from one side of my waist to the other and then i'll put all these weird seams in the back because it'll be gathered and you won't be able to tell so much and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for definitely hit that subscribe button down below because you don't want to miss anything going on here whether it's the tutorials or next top upcycler you definitely want to know hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing all right let's pin it back on here and see if i like what i have decided to do in order to conceal the quote unquote pocket which is just the sleeve i took this and just kind of did an inverted pleat or a box pleat and it conceals it a little bit more and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side i wasn't like super excited about this skirt at first because i don't know how it's gonna look on me but i'm starting to feel it my favorite part is this part right here. And then this piece, I'll pin it for right now, but it's definitely something that I'm gonna have to put it on me to get the length right. And so this is bigger than what I need, which is great because it's gonna be gathered. All right, so here's the back of the waistband and the front of the waistband. And you can see that I put the two little short sides on the outside just to make it more even where the seams hit and I surged it. But what I'm going to do is, because I don't have thick elastic, all I have is two smaller pieces of elastic. So I'm going to sew top stitches that are roughly the width of the elastics and then I can use a safety pin to put these inside. I'm gonna go ahead and sew this whole band and then I'll fold over and just sew the seams on the back. All right, now we have the whole circle. We're gonna fold it over and just do those stitches, you know, two stitches just on the back part. We did that and we're just gonna take the elastic with a big safety pin and push it through. So when it gets to the point where it, the end is at the seam, I'm just gonna add a pin so that it can't pull out. You don't want this to start to turn or do some funny stuff. That's why it's easier if you have just a fat piece of uh, elastic because you can sew it in and make sure you don't get your elastic turning on you or anything like that. But I'm working with what I have. And I'll go ahead and partially push in the other piece. So that way, once we finish putting this on the skirt, it'll be a little bit easier. Here is the waistband. I have it over the dress form and I'm gonna fold the right side down so that I can begin to pin it 
to the shirt the reason i'm not going to sew any of these shirts together yet is because i think i'm going to do a lot of top stitching i think i want to keep these flat fail seams and so that will allow me to do some top stitching which means that i don't have to put it all together before attaching it to the waistband i can just go ahead and attach it now so i'm just going to match up side seam here make sure these overlap the way i want them to and then attach the side seam of the skirt and I'll do the same on the other side now we can start taking some of these pins out underneath here and attaching it directly to the waistband and the whole top stitch situation is helpful because if I take this apart and then top stitch it and then put it back on here I'll just have to do it twice all right so this is the skirt all pinned and what I did was I just kept going from the side that I started the elastic and just kept going with it flat and that means we don't need like one of those extra sections plus some that we added. All right, so we're gonna go to the sewing machine and we're going to start sewing, go all the way around and we're gonna leave this piece for now, just for now. At this point, most of it is attached all the way around and you can see our little extra piece here that we're gonna cut off in a minute, but I went ahead and searched the inside so that we can pull this elastic through this is the back of the skirt. I'm gonna go ahead and finish pulling this through. It's gonna go all the way to that extra piece and then stop there. That's why I didn't cut off that piece yet because I can do it like a two for one. I can sew down this elastic and sew the two pieces together at the same time. I am gonna cut this so I can get the safety pin out. Stretch that to make sure that it's even all along and find the pin from the bottom piece. I feel like the seam is probably a little bit tight in this section right here. We have that back piece drawn up. All I'm gonna do is sew it to the front piece of the waistband, uh, sew that and then serge it and the waistband will be done. All right, let's do a midway check. Oh my gosh, like who knew that this would give the illusion of hips? But at any rate, we definitely need to layer this the way we want it and top stitch the seams together. This one I was able to button. I could have done the other one if I had a thought more conscientiously about it. I did not and I didn't line them up. So I'm just gonna top stitch this. And I want to put my hands in my pockets to see how far down I want the pocket. It has to be a little bit further down because it angles. So I don't want anything falling out. I added a pin at the highest it could be. I'll sew it straight across and we'll have our pockets. How do you guys feel about the sleeves? I hope I'm giving you guys inspiration of the wazoo. All right, let's keep going. All right, here's that sleeve. I told you guys it was gonna get kind of confusing. These are the sleeves that are gonna become pockets and that's the pin. I moved it down to where I wanted it. I'm gonna move all the excess because I'm getting ready to use these scissors. If I cut through this skirt, I'm gonna be mad. And I think I'll just lay the other one underneath so that they can both be cut at the same time. And so what I'm going to do is just double fold hem it and top stitching. This is what we have so far. That's a sleeve, that's a sleeve, that's one half of a shirt, that's another half of a shirt, and that's a whole shirt. So now we have our other pieces that need to be pinned. I tell you what, it'll be nice for once to have something floor laying. Never have I ever had anything, any garment touch the floor, unless it was made specially for me. I don't know if that's given. And that is a problem. So we have the skirt. I thought about it for a long time. <laughs> and I was going to try to attach the bottom part just like along the curve thinking it would create some nice i don't know weird layering effects but it was looking like a trash bag and i'm being nice saying that so i just need to cut it across just cut it straight cut the other shirt straight and put it together and be done with it so tam is a little bit crazy but we can take that apart or we can just plow right through it or cut it off so here's the other shirt. We pinned this because we were going to sew it up. I sewed this one, this side up. You can see, I just sewed at an angle. It does create, you know, a nice little kind of pleat right there. So I can appreciate that. Then for 
the orange shirt. I attached it with the buttons. Got smart this time and just went ahead and attached it from the beginning. Um, sometimes the buttons from different shirts line up. Sometimes they don't. These lined up. As you can see right now, I'm not taking off any pockets just because if I don't have to do that work, then I won't. So evidently, when I sewed this sleeve up, I got, I don't know what I did. I'll go back and, that's bad. I just wanted to see how this one would look before I took the sleeve off. So I went ahead and sewed it, obviously not on this side. I sewed it on the other side thinking I was just, I had it going on, but obviously not. I think I'm going to use this as my lowest point and just go ahead and cut it across. It's a very rough cut. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the sleeve off. This is the midpoint because this is where the two sleeves meet. I know it's probably confusing you guys. So this is the front portion. Let's see if we can get it tucked up, okay. That is the front portion of the skirt. And then this is the extra part. All I did was cut one side because I'm gonna put one side on, see how I like it, and then only then will we proceed. So we're going to attach it like this, just straight across, no special tricks, nothing. And it looks like I have just enough to keep the you know, red and blue with the red and blue, and then the orange goes kinda onto the gray. We'll turn it over, good side to good side, attach the midpoint, clip those together. We're going to go sew this whole side down and see how we like it. So I have it thrown over the dress form just simply because it's too long now, but this is the back. And now the only issue is that I really don't think that this is enough to finish it off. This is the last piece that I have and I really should have, I guess, used a smaller shirt up there because what we have is the armhole is cut open and I could sew up the armhole, but if I do that, then all I have is just, you know, this length. Like I know it's not enough. I ended up just attaching it how it wanted to be attached. What I did was laid it flat on the floor and I used the hem as a way to do a top stitch so it just you know kind of looks like a shirt on top of a shirt but unfortunately that left these holes and i thought maybe like oh that could be cool but i don't think so so <laughs> i just need to find some scraps left over and um fill in this little part right here so that's the last thing we're going to do and i did decide to leave the sleeves and and i'm going to show you why when i style it all right, before we see how it turned out, let me tell you, I do have a free Facebook group where you can share your upcycles and I am going to be doing Renegade of the Week. I call my upcycling Renegade style because I break a lot of rules. But um, yeah, so the, check the link in the description box below to join that so you can share your upcycles with other people. And I do have a class, like a accountability group where we do upcycling and share our upcycles with one another. And that's personally with me. So click that join button down below to learn more about that. So uh, let's find out how this turned out. Okay, okay, so I definitely see the appeal of this and I was wrong. It definitely, having a full skirt definitely makes me look like I have way more hips than I do because I have none, like none. But yes, hips, no. So yes, this absolutely does the trick. It's not necessarily my style, but I do prefer it tied, like the tie in the front. I'm glad I did that. Is it weird? Yes, it's weird. But a lot of stuff I do is weird, so. I'm, I'm not worried about that. But I do kind of like that whole tie situation in the front. So yeah, you guys can see, I was really kind of digging the tie throughout. And then when I realized I could tuck it in if I don't want to see the sleeves, then that made me leave it. So I'm super happy I did that. You guys, I actually think that 
I would continuously like wear this a lot if I did it in more of a monochromatic uh, tones, like way toned down, like all black and white or just a very just subtle color differences because all the color is that's just not my thing but i wanted to try to get as close to the inspiration as possible just so you guys could see it because you know i don't always just do things for myself although i love upcycling for myself i do want you guys to be able to accomplish your upcycle dreams as well so let me know if you enjoyed this and for our big announcement, you guys love our official season one of Next Top Upcyclers. So we are definitely doing a season two and I'm looking for contestants. So if you think your upcycles are the bomb diggity, yeah, I said bomb diggity, then check that description box down below to find the link to apply to be a contestant. It has some information that you need to fill out and you also need to put images. Oh, I forgot to say the biggest announcement is that it's menswear we are doing upcycling menswear so that means men's dress shirts yes like what we did in this whole video which is why i decided to do this one this week and i do have on a menswear uh simple like absolutely simple menswear <laughs> upcycle right here i'll put the link right there for you guys but i hope you guys are super excited i love upcycling menswear men's dress shirts men's blazers men's pants i've done a ton i will put some links in the description box below and as a matter of fact i'm gonna do a whole video about it right before we start next time upcyclers so i hope you guys are super excited about this because i am super excited so let me see your applications and we'll be picking nine contestants once again only nine contestants from all over the world not just us all over the world so yes i'm super excited um definitely check out some other videos and definitely subscribe you have to be a subscriber to be a contestant so I, all the details are down below and i will see you in the next one bye